yeah, yeah. Welcome to a fresh new episode of the Fitness Avengers, where we are, where we fight fat, frustration, and fitness fakes. I'm your host, NASM Master Trainer Tony Ariola from TotalBodyProject.com, and I'm on a personal mission to simplify fitness for you. Now, there's this question I get asked a lot: Which exercises should I do? It seems like a pretty fair question. I mean, I'm a trainer, so <laughs> that's all I do. But what if I told you that most exercises you don't even need to worry about? They're actually pointless. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> this week, I'm going to cover the best and worst exercises for you to do to get the results that you want. I'm going to go over mechanics. I'm going to go over how to start your program. Uh, and we're going to have our very first ever exercise spotlight. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got some new technology I've been kind of working on. So hopefully it'll help you under, uh, really understand what exercises you should be doing and what exercises you can just kind of, eh. Now, why I got in this exercise kick? Well, back in college, back in my back in my younger years, um, when I just graduated college, let's call it last year, right? So I'm, back when I was like 22 years old, <laughs> it was a long, long time ago, I was getting ready for uh, spring break. You know, spring break, you run around like, Ah, spring break, <laughs> spring break. And I wanted to have washboard abs like every other child in America. So my, I asked my buddy, I was like, hey, how do you do, how do you get six pack abs? He said, easy. You know what Bruce Lee does? He does a thousand crunches a day. And I was like, wow, a thousand crunches a day? That seems like a good plan. Why not do a thousand crunches a day and see if I can get ripped abs? Uh, obviously that didn't work. Uh, it, it hurt my stomach a lot. It was hard to get up to a thousand and I still look chubby, but my stomach hurt a lot. So then that got me on the whole, like, what do people actually know about exercises and which ones actually matter? So today I'm going to help you really figure out what you need to do, what you need to be doing and how to really simplify and get the most results out of your exercise program. Use the hashtag mighty muscle. Hi, Diana. Go, Diana. Throw Mighty Muscle mighty muscle in the comments. And every time you hear something that will kind of help you, I'll enter you in for a cool drawing for some really amazing prizes. So let's get started. First things first. Start. <laughs> I know there's been a lot of content delivered this, you know, this, you know, the last six weeks on this quarantine. And I think we're on day 42. I I'm not sure. Uh, it feels like years. I don't even remember the last time I went outside or I did anything that was even remotely normal. Did you know that you guys used to be able to go into a, like a room and watch a movie? Like, that they, I don't know. I don't, maybe I was just dreaming that, but it's been a long time and there's a lot of content out there. People doing like Zumba dances and there's like classes and people are streaming all these things. But what a lot of people are not doing, which is kind of sad, is they're not starting. So the first thing that you really need to do is just start with anything, um, whether it be just making sure you hit your steps, whether it be getting the right amount of sleep, whether it be doing like a video, like a P90X video or any type, or just jumping in and actually one of those workouts, just jump in. And when you jump in with your exercise program, start at the level that you're at. If you haven't worked out in years, don't take out Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, workout guide and expect to do that. Don't go full throttle on the P90X and you know go t all crazy on a TRX and expect to sustain that. It's not going to happen. You really want to start at the level you're at. And if you just start with walking, um, that's fine. If you start with going up and down the stairs, that's fine. If you do hikes, that's great. Ride your bike, that's awesome. What you want to be doing is just starting and moving forward. Don't worry about how hard your exercise is or what it looks like, you know, or what people will think. You only want to start, you want to start exactly where you need to be, where you need to start. And that's at the level that you're at. Make it simple and keep it simple. Don't add to it along the way. We fail in fitness not because the exercises are really you know, not the cutting edge or the best exercises for our body, which I'll I'll tell you which those are today. We fail in fitness because of consistency, right? You look back at the last 52 weeks, 
if you worked out once a week, you've had 52 workouts. Twice a week, you're at 104. Now, look at yourself. Do you have 104 workouts? You know, some of my clients that do three times a week, they're up to over 300 workouts a year. Now, with that kind of consistency, then you can really change your body. Then it really matters. But don't make it too hard or too painful where you're not going to be able to keep it up. Make it simple, keep it simple, and keep it consistent. If you do that, you're going to be way better off. The next thing that you want to know is when you're picking the exercises that you want to be doing, identify your goals. What do you want? Do you want ripped abs? I mean, ripped abs are pretty cool, right? Right, Diana? <laughs> We're not going to lie. Ripped abs are pretty sick, right? Do you want um, you want to lift the house? Do you want to like, do you want your not to be in like back pain? You know, do you not want to look as fat? That's a goal. You know, like if you catch yourself looking at yourself in the mirror and you don't like what you see and you want to change that, that's a goal. Don't think that you have to look like a poster or like these magazines or like these uh, celebrities. You don't have to do that. You have to, you, you just want to set a goal that's realistic for you and yourself. Maybe you just want to be healthy. I get that. Whatever you want to accomplish, you want to make sure that it's true to you and that that's what you want because that's going to help get us there, especially because it's a long road. Now, here's a, a cool question I get a lot. I'm like, oh, I want to drop my body fat. I'm like, okay, well, what is body fat? I hear that uh, that term a lot of people are like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get so ripped. My body fat's 13%. I want to get it at 22%. And when I was a, a rookie trainer, uh, what, like, I must have been like 18 years, year, 18 years ago. So I was, so I was five years old when I started training, which is, it's another story. I don't want to get into that right now. But when I started training, I focused a lot on body fat. And the problem with that was nobody cared, right? Nobody walked around and been like, oh, this guy's 17%. She's 26. He's 35. What people cared about was what they looked like and what they felt like. And that's ultimately more important. But when you think about body fat, you really want to understand what it is. So body fat, if you can see my, my arms. So I'm gonna, let's, let's take my body fat. Hopefully it's not a lot. I've been, it's COVID-15 has got me. So we'll take the body fat and we'll kind of pinch. And see all that. There's skin, fat, and then muscle underneath. So the muscle, there you go, shameless plug. The muscle is underneath. So when you grab the body fat, you know, the pinching under it, that what you grab there under the skin, it goes skin, fat, and muscle. And the calipers, what they pinch is the fat. So skin, fat, and muscle. What you're pinching on the skin, that one inch pinch, checks the fat on the body. So we take four sides, bicep, tricep on top of your stomach and in the back. And the more technically you can pin, so if you grab a big like chunk <laughs> chunk of cheese, um, the higher the body fat. Usually the higher the body fat, the competition looks more like like the higher the body fat. And remember we talked about before, and if you haven't seen, I've linked the click to my previous shows. I watch episode three of the Fitness Avengers that will give you more about what fat is. Um, so the body fat is what you want to get rid of, right? This is what you want to get rid of to like diet and exercise, mostly diet. The muscle is, oh no, I'm blurry. <laughs> the muscle is a lot, looks a lot different. So muscle has uh, mechanoreceptors. It's got, it's got um, uh, different, it connects to your central nervous system. So it's got a lot more things going on. You can contract it. So muscle, and it's a lot more dense. There's more to it. So it's a lot harder to build muscle than it is to drop fat. So if you're talking about changing the composition of your body, most people refer to that as dropping fat. So that'll drop your body fat percentage down. So ultimately that was a big speech to tell you that once you understand it, then you don't need to worry about it because you're not going to care. If you don't like how you look when your body fat's 9%, it doesn't matter, right? So don't really worry about that numbers. Worry about what you feel like, what you look like, and what you care about. That's ultimately the most important thing. And now it's time for a Diana's favorite time, uh, which is emoji party. Yeah, emoji party. Uh, 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 uh. So throw up those hearts. Uh, there's a new little care guy that hugs. <laughs> there's like the little, 
I don't know if there's a, I don't think there's a fire guy. I know there's an angry one, but throw up those emojis. Uh, hi, Diana. I want to thank all my, all my viewers that are watching international. I have some people reach out to me from Guam. So hey, in Guam, Kenya, uh, apparently I'm going to be, uh, I've, I'm going to inherit. I inherited millions from uh, Kenya. I'm a prince. I didn't even know I was a prince. I just got a letter. So I just got to respond just with my banking number. Uh, and then I'm going to be a prince. So, hey, what's up, my my uh, Prince friends? I'm excited to have you guys on my show. Now, now that we know that our goals, whether it be to lift the house, to look ripped, to drop fat, or just to look less fat, we want to pick the exercises that really matter. And the exercises that will get you to burn the most calories or to drop the most fat are focusing on the big three. What, what are the big three? The big three are essentially what we've based our movements on here at Total Body Project. Wait, sorry. Oops, sorry again. <laughs> that one. <laughs> and it's uh, the fact that the biggest muscles in your body burn the most amount of calories. Why is that important? Because the bigger muscles burn the most amount of calories. What does that mean? The bigger muscles burn the most amount of calories. So working out the bigger muscles will help you to get your goal faster if your goal is composition to drop body fat. If that is, that's what most people see me and Robert for is to drop body fat to change the composition. So what you want to focus on is focusing on the big movers, which are your chest, your pushing, uh, your back, pulling, any type of pulling exercise, and your legs. The legs burn a ton of calories. So those exercises burn the most amount of calories, hence getting your to your goal faster. You also want to be, work on the your core exercises, which is uh, essentially 29 muscles that attach your pelvic bone to your spine. So if you cough, <coughs> that's your really deep abs. So if you can get a workout that incorporates your core uh, with like stability and um, uh, functional type training, then focus on the chest, the back, and the legs, then you'll be burning the most amount of calories in the shortest amount of time. So some background on me, I uh, went to UC Irvine for an engineering uh, education. And what I learned was how to maximize uh, results, right? Through engineering, how to make hard things simple. And I found that if I focused on the big movers, chest, back, and legs, my clients got results a lot quicker and a lot faster. So what that meant is I didn't have to do crazy moves like throwing like barbells over their head or jumping on boxes, which I get. If you're, if you're an athlete and you're like jumping on boxes and jump on them. But most of my clients are not jumping on boxes. Why? Because you can risk hurting your knees, hurting your back. And ultimately, if you hurt yourself, then you're not going to get any results. You're probably going to stop quitting. You're going to not stop quitting. You're probably going to stop going to the gym, right? So the goal is to get you there safely and effectively. And remember, the most important thing is consistency. It's hard to work out if you're hurt. So stay on the things that matter, the things that are simple, chest, back, and legs, right? So, and I'm going to go over like specifically one of the exercises. Now, now say you focus on chest, back, and legs. That's part of the equation. The next part, and so you're doing your, I go, hey, ah, oh, here, here's a chest press. How does that feel? And you're like, oh, that feels awesome. I can feel it right here on my shoulders and some on my neck. And I say, okay, let's do a row or a lat pull down. Lat pull down is when we're pulling from the top down. And you're like, oh my God, that feels, it's such a good burn in my neck and my low, my low back that's just like on fire. The problem with that is that you're not feeling the exercises where you're supposed to feel it. I call it, feel it where you need it. In my second book, Get Me Fit. If you haven't picked up that book, it's a great book. I really like, enjoy the author. But it's called, feel it where you need it. And if you are working the chest, it should feel all oh, here in the chest area. You shouldn't feel anything in your neck and your shoulders. If you're doing a lap pull down where you're pulling from the back, you wanna pull here on the back. It should The feeling should all be in the back. It shouldn't be in the biceps shoulders and neck area. So if you're not feeling in the right spot, then you're not going to get the results that you want, right? So you're doing, now you're doing the right exercises, but you're not feeling in the right spot. Guess what's going to happen? Yeah, nothing, nothing. Well, I know what'll happen. You'll quit and then you'll be sad and be like, oh, that's why I never do fitness and yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I get it. But if you don't feel the exercise in the right spot, it's never going to happen, right? So now we know we got to do the exercises. We got to do them in the right. We got to feel them in the right spot. And now you're on the right track of what you need to be doing. So let's get into that. This is a, a new exciting segment in our show. 
I'd like to thank our sponsors, Corona 19. <laughs> COVID-19 is our sponsor. The coronavirus, this episode is brought to you by the coronavirus. Um, and let's look at our exercise uh, spotlight. Ah, uh, you guys might recognize that guy. He looks like me. Let's make me big and make him. Well, I guess he's the, he might be like life size, but let's see if we get this to, to play. Oh, here we go. Standing lat pullover. This exercise is designed for your back. Arms straight, shoulder width apart, split stance, abs tight. You're going to pull down shoulder height, squeezing that back muscle. Shoulders relax, pull with the back muscle. Do not bring your shoulders up. Arms straight, shoulder height. So down. I think you guys can see the video. Pull it down to your thigh. Um I I hope I hope you guys can see the video and you guys can can hear me, but let's Let's hide that guy and let's kind of go over what actually happened. Well, I, there was two of me. That was, <laughs> but it's either a good or a bad thing, right? If that, there was another one of me, but what he did there is that he was relaxing the neck, relaxing the shoulder, and pulling with the low, the back part of the back. So if you go here, right, you guys can do it. Uh, go ahead, Diana, and you guys at at home. Um, when you pull with a back, lat pull down, anything that works with your back. You got to pull, and this muscle's got to turn on in the back, right? So when you're pulling with a lat pull down, it should be this motion here, squeeze here, or you're pulling down, squeeze in the back. So all the feeling should happen right here in the back. That's what a lat pull down is. That's what a lat pullover is, and that's a huge muscle. The problem with that is that I'd say about 90% of the people that I meet get that exercise wrong. So that's a problem. If I'm telling you that only three muscles – Three big major movers work, and one of them is wrong, and we're not even working out consistently. You're gonna have a really hard time succeeding in fitness. So, really focus on the next time you work out. See if you can focus on engaging that muscle, right? Pulling with that back muscle, pulling with that muscle, and it's gonna take a while because what what the term for it is called a neuromuscular connection, which is a fancy word for motor patterns, which is a fancy word for your mind telling your muscles to pull, right? neuromuscular connection, mind telling the muscles to pull the bones, right? But since we're not about that fitness nonsense, it's just pull like this, feel it here, not up in the like, uh, ah, in neck area. Um, and here we go. We got a special Ask the Trainer today. I posted a, a promotion for this, for this Facebook Live, and it was great uh, because I also posted another story. And the number one question that were people asking me about this show was, did you get a puppy? <laughs> and that was like the number one question by like a lot. <laughs> and the answer is yes, we did. We did get a puppy, little Kona. I don't have a picture of her now because uh, I'm new to this technology and I can only replicate small uh, small images of myself doing exercises. I have not gotten to, to puppies yet. Uh, but yeah, she's uh, gonna be soon joining our family. It's Courtney the Nice first puppy. Um, so I'm a little excited, a little nervous as my first, um, I don't know if you, not, I guess you're not really a dad, but we're in charge of the puppy. So we want to make sure, um, luckily there was another question on fitness. So, um, and this one is coming live and this one is from, looks like from, from far away. Should I work my abs every day? Great question. That is a really good question. And the answer is no. You know, didn't you watch the beginning of the video? It said, don't work your abs every day. Uh, the reason that you don't want to work those abs every day is because you wouldn't want to work any muscle every day, right? The way muscle works is that you work out the muscle, right? You tear down the muscle fibers. Then you want to rest and recover. That happens with sleep. So, you know, uh, on episode five on sleep recovery, I don't, I don't even know if that's the right episode, but it just sounds like it, like I knew that, that was it. Rest and recovery, you have the beginning stages of sleep, then you drop down to NREM and REM sleep. And an NREM is where all the body does its repair and um, where you does your repair, regrowth, regeneration, uh, cell at the cellular level, everything happens in that stage. So you need to tear down the muscle tissue, right? You want to break it down, break it down, and then you want to go to sleep. And then that's when all the rebuilding happens and that's when the muscle happens. So 
tearing down the muscle consistently doesn't give that muscle a chance to recover and it doesn't give it a chance to build. So you're really defeating the purpose of, of trying to build that muscle. So the best thing you can do um, from super far away land where you're at is split up your body body parts. So if you're doing like, you know, like uh, chest one day, you might want to do back the next day or legs the other day. Or if you're running one day, you probably don't want to run the next day. You might, might want to do a bike or spread it out. Usually if you're sore in that muscle group, you don't want to work that muscle group again because you're going to be sore and you might do more damage than good. So hopefully I answered your question. Um, like I said, if you guys um, are enjoying the content uh, or getting a lot of benefit on here and want to up this and get more more content and join our group, the Fitness Avengers, where we, we're fighting fat, frustration, and uh, you know all those fitness fakes out there. There's a lot of them out there now. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in on IGTV, on YouTube, on Facebook Live. Uh, thank you so much, Diana. Uh, it means the world for me to jump on. If you're watching on the replay, go ahead and comment. I go on there and answer every question. Go ahead, keep sending me a message on the private messenger. I respond to everyone's single comment, with whatever stuff that you need. It's a tough time, guys. It's a quarantine Monday of I don't even know what week it is. I miss seeing all my clients face to face. I miss hugs, uh, which is kind of sad that I don't remember what hugs are like. Can, is that how do you do a hug on Zoom? But once we get back to normal, we will get back to normal. I'm excited to, you know, get back to work with all my clients. And for you guys that are stuck at home and, you know, I've had a, people reach out to me with they're struggling with fitness. Just I know right now it's right now is not the time to excel. You're just not going to hit a home run. You know, I have yet to see somebody. That, oh, and then I got locked up with all my snacks and and I'm not working out. And now I'm super fit. That hasn't happened yet, okay? And I'm telling you because I'm in there with all the fitness guys. That's not happening. What is happening is that you can do something to kind of stop the bleeding, stop the damage, and really not give yourself too much homework to do on the backside. So, you know, put the wine down, put the coronas aside, uh, put don't have so many you know, slices of pizza, get away from the snacks, close the snack cupboard, go off for a walk, um, get to bed on time, drink your water, do things that, that are going to make you feel good because your health and fitness matter. It's who you are. Ultimately, that no matter what, it's who you are. And when you do what's right for your health, for your body, and for your mind, you're going to feel better. And you're going to feel better. Once you feel better, then life just has a lot more value. Don't let this virus just ruin your whole, like, make this a void. You know, fight. Fight for your health. Fight for your fitness. And so that way you won't come out of this thing with just like a boatload of problems. So thank you for tuning for tuning in. You're the reason I exist. Again, my name is Tony Ariola, NASM Master Trainer uh, with TotalBodyProject.com. Please like, share, subscribe. And next week I'll be talking about back pains and how to get rid of back pain. So if your back hurts, which if you're sitting down, it probably does. <laughs> Tune in next week and I'll show you guys the stretches that you need to be doing to help get rid of that, okay? And I'll see you on the skinny side. Cue the music. Oh, now you can see it. Hey, what? It's dark. <laughs> That's what happens with live TV. It's dark sometimes. <laughs>